Locked Up family, my name is Denise and thanks for clicking on the channel today. On this channel we discuss all things health and lifestyle. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so you will always be notified when my videos are uploaded. So today we are back with another Qsimia weigh-in vlog, but we also have some day in the life things going on today. We have some dog grooming and we have some issues that happen with my tire. So if those things don't interest you today, go ahead and feel free to fast forward past those things so you can get to the eating and the exercising and the weigh-in portion. So let's get into the video and I'll check back in with you guys at the end. All right. here at the tire place when we was dropping the dogs off this morning we noticed this big huge bubble in my tire so we we're on our way to breakfast and we had to call around it's about 15 different places to check for this tire because my tire is so odd it's like a 21 inch tire and so all the other places could order and it wasn't gonna be in a Monday. We got time for that, y'all know I can't wait into no tire for Monday. I can't work from home on Monday because my day is so busy and I need to be in the clinic. But here we are at Discount Tire and we found somebody that had a tire. So we came right here after breakfast, but you know the day just never ends. Again, you plan out your day. You you know this is what I'm gonna do for the day and then life just be life you know I we didn't expect to be here uh, almost $500 later uh, for a tire so this is how our vlog starting off but it is what it is God is still good and we're still going on with our day I'll talk to y'all later fam all right bye all right y'all we are leaving the tire place and child i stand corrected i said about 500 dollars later we are 1100 dollars later something about the tire like when you get a new tire and it's new and it got new thread on it it takes the balance off of the other tire that is not uh new and it'll be unleveled and the ride is not as smooth you can do it you can get one tire right right babe what they say if you don't replace both of them they don't wear evenly and if you're placing a brand new tire you got to hold it on the other side it'll throw the balance off on the car yeah so basically it'll throw the balance off and the ride won't be you know as smooth and all of that so it'll be better to get you know um two new tires so that's what we did so here we are we did not wake up this morning and thinking we're gonna be out of 
$1,100, but we got to do what we got to do. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. y'all we have been to the grocery store so let's start our grocery haul so i got some bananas i finally found some zero sugar pumpkin spice creamer my other one was just regular creamer 35 calories this one is zero so it's 15 calories zero sugar so i grabbed two of those we got some eggs we got some drink mixes that I just like to put in my water. They are also zero sugar. I got some more tuna. And so I believe this is what I will have for lunch this week. Some tuna. And then I'll have some wheat thins with that. Some crackers and tuna. I might have two boiled eggs with that. So two packs of tuna, crackers, two boiled eggs, or I might end up just doing three packs of tuna instead and no boiled eggs. So we'll see. Grab some apples and some peanut butter. Probably have an apple and peanut butter for my snack. I grabbed another sugar-free preserve just to have one at work and one at home. Grab some turkey, smoked sausage, because today I'm going to do just like a pan, a pan like stir fry. Grab some stir fry veggies. And so I'll have the sausage, the stir fry veggies, and then I'll put that over like a bed of cauliflower rice. I also just got some extra thick cut center cut bacon. I got this roll of turkey sausage so I can like put it into like a patty, put it into patties of five. So like on the weekends or any day that I want like a breakfast, a breakfast sandwich, I can pull out a patty and this is like 90 calories per patty so that I'm not just using the regular sausage when I want a patty though. For breakfast this week, I'm thinking I want smoothie, so I just grab some fruit. I also have some fruit in the freezer right now already. And I grab a couple of packs of spinach. For snacks, if I wanted a snack, I grabbed the six pack of these which of course you can have in moderation because it's a small pack and per package 140 calories for the bag and then I also got some of the bait snacks for in case I have like that crunch the urge for that crunch and want like a chip and those are also And then they have the calories per package for each brand of chip. 110, 80 for that popcorn. 110, 110, 120. All right. And then I can just, then I grabbed a couple things for hubby, right? Milk. He's eating chicken and rice this week. I'll throw that in the air fryer. 
he has cereal, and then he has some snacks too. All right, y'all. Let's meal prep. My sheet pans are ready to go in the oven and I did make two pans because I do not like to pile the vegetables on too high because I like to get the vegetables like really crispy and this way I don't have to mix them all around if it's too many on there and these are going to shrink up the vegetables so I set my oven to 440 it's not reached its temp yet but I will throw these in Let me flip the camera around. All right, y'all. So that probably took five minutes to put that pan dish in. So again, meal prepping does not have to be hard. It's, it's really simple depending on what you choose to make for the week or what you want to make or what your taste buds, you know, have the taste for. But it can be really simple. So I'm going to put that over a bed of cauliflower rice. I'm going to get ready to saute that cauliflower rice um, over the stove. And again, that took me five minutes to prepare. And then it's in the oven and I'm done with it. All I got to do is keep my eye on it. So now we want to try to you want to know like how do I calculate those calories for this meal right how do I get 450 calories or whatever the case may be so I will plug that into my lose it app and I will create a recipe in my lose it app and I will put all of those ingredients in the lose it app and select a serving size so if I'm going to eat it for five days or six days or seven I will put that serving size so I will put all five bags of that stir fry vegetable right both uh packages of those sausages put that all into the recipe i will put this three bags of cauliflower rice that i'm going to put in there um now i will put that separate so what i would put for the actual recipe for the sheet pan is just the the actual sausage and the stir fried vegetables and see what that comes up to and then the cauliflower rice would be separate right because i think i would do like one cup of cauliflower rice um and put this 
sheet pan like over the cauliflower rice so that's how you create the recipe and get your actual calorie count for that by just putting all of the ingredients in and putting the serving size and the amount and then that creates your calories all right y'all so then i'll be back once the meal prep is done and i have put it in all the um, containers all right y'all all right y'all i don't know if y'all can see that i have divided my sausage and my stir fry up until five servings so now that it's all been divided one servant is 400 calories it gives you the total fat cholesterol sodium and how much protein is in there so once I add that cauliflower rice, once I add that cauliflower rice, it'll be probably about 30 calories or 35 calories uh, for a cup. And then later on in the vlog, I'll probably show you what kind of sauce that I'm adding. Well, hold on, I can show you right now. But I still show y'all in the vlog what kind of sauce that I will add. I will add some of this sugar-free, right, this sugar-free orange ginger marinade over the top, and I'll, I'll measure that all out on my scale. But yeah, so about 450 calories for my dinner, and uh, about 30 grams of protein, so that is not bad. So we over here winning we getting it we get our protein in and we getting our low calorie meals in over here all right y'all all right y'all that's my cauliflower rice cauliflower rice sauteing so my sheet pan cauliflower rice so all i had to actually cook for meal prep because i'm doing tuna and crackers possibly boil eggs for lunch and a smoothie for breakfast and if I don't do a smoothie for breakfast I'll be doing my English muffins and my turkey and egg and potato bowl or my egg bite so we still winning well with low maintenance cooking but we still hitting our goals
yesterday had some a little congestion and just some stuffiness up um, here but I got up this morning and I pushed anyway but I didn't feel like a whole lot of energy to do any weightlifting so I just said that I would try to get on this Stairmaster and try to push myself to do 40 minutes the most I have ever done on the Stairmaster is 30 minutes so I did push myself today to do 40 minutes who am I? Who, who am I? Who is this girl? So I did 20 minutes in here before I worked out. And I'm going to sit in here for about 20 minutes uh, 
before I go home. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Good morning, y'all. Today is Thursday, and we had no gym today. Today, I was just tired, and I just wasn't feeling it. I've been tired all week. Yesterday, I was tired, but I pushed through anyway. And today, I just did not feel like pushing through. And some days, it's okay. You just got to listen to your body. And one of the other important things, of course, on a weight loss journey is rest and being able to listen to your body. So it's not always that you have to just make yourself and push, push, push and work out. But it's also knowing when to sit down and listen to your body. Um, so I will check in with you guys later. I have to go get my hair done after work. If I can, I might take you guys with me. And if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's Friday. I just got home from my meeting. Let me tell y'all about the chain of events today and how my day went. So, y'all know I normally work my 8 to 5 or 8 to 4 or however my day goes. And normally I work in a clinic. I work in, um, first of all, if y'all don't know, I am a practice manager of a multi-specialty pediatric clinic. So I manage a uh, pediatric cardiology and urology uh, and ortho clinic. So uh, today we had like a division uh, practice manager meeting and we had to meet off site, which we do often and we have to go off site. So I had to be there at eight and it's a little further away. So I had to kind of like deviate if I wanted to go to the gym today. So yesterday I did not make it to the gym, so I was determined to make it to the gym today. I couldn't do, I could have did spin, but I would have been rushing, rushing, rushing. So during the week, I normally just do just a little bit of foundation, just just a little, just a little razzle dazzle, little mascara. But when I be going to my leadership meetings, when I'm meeting with the higher ups, I try, I try to give them face chat. I try to. I try to give them beat, okay? So, I'm hungry. So, this morning I made that little sausage patty that I showed you with the turkey sausage. I made a patty and had my um, my uh, McMuffin with that. Them things got me in a chokehold. I, I, love, I love that McMuffin bread. Like, I be wanting to eat one of them every day. So, I just had a McMuffin, a sausage, and cheese um, this morning. I ate that around 7. Supposed to get out of the house. So I woke up at 3.30 this morning instead of 4. 3.30. So I can make it to the gym at 4 a.m. Got to the gym. Uh, around 4.10. Got on the machine. Did 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. Y'all see that in my vlog. And uh, just sat in the sauna for about 20 minutes. Because I had to get out of, get up out of there about 5.20. So I can get up out this house at 7. Because I had to do my little beat. So I had to have a little extra 10 to do that. So I ate about 7.10 on the road. Then I had just a little fruit bowl while I was in the meeting at about 10.30. About five grapes. Little, look, three pieces of honeydew and five pieces of pineapple. So, therefore, it's 12.33 and I am hungry. 
So what I'm going to eat, let me turn the camera around. I got me a Chipotle bowl. And I just got, y'all can see that. I got extra, I got extra chicken, pico, corn salsa, mozzarella cheese, and lettuce. Look how much of this stir fry I got left, y'all. I didn't get no rice with that Chipotle bowl, but I'm going to use, y'all see I got some more of that cauliflower rice. I'm going to put, I'm going to eat half of this Chipotle bowl. I'm going to eat half of that Chipotle bowl today for lunch. And I'm going to add some cauliflower rice in there. And I want no more of that stir fry. I just ain't want no more. But you can clearly see that it's more than five servings that I put in there when I created that recipe. So now we know that it's less than 400 calories that I accounted for. And that's okay. So we know that calories is not always going to be totally accurate. But we want to know around about what kind, how many calories we eat, right? Around about figure. So somewhere in that range, might be a little less sometime, could be a little more. But now we know we less, and that's okay. Um, so I don't want no more of that stir fry, but for dinner, I'm probably going to eat some tuna and crackers. It might not be three packs. It might be two, but, um, who knows? So I'll eat half of my Chipotle bowl today with some of that cauliflower rice, and then I'll eat tuna and crackers for dinner today. So I'm going to get out of my work clothes and hop into some comfortable clothes Finish up the rest of my work day from home. Edit my vlog. Get this way in up from y'all for y'all. And then we'll chat in a little bit. I see y'all later. Alright, bye. <laughs> Now that y'all have finished watching the vlog, y'all can see that I have lost 1.4 pounds this week. So I'm excited about that 1.4 pounds. Y'all know my goal is to lose at least one pound a week. So I am over the top with that 1.4 pounds. But let's take it back a little bit. Last week I lost over three pounds. Was it 3.8 pounds or something like that? which was huge for me, right? So over the weekend when I weighed myself on Monday, because I do still be wearing myself during the week, we know it's a horrible habit, but I do. So when I weighed myself on Monday, I was up two pounds. So I was like 194, a 0.4 or something like that. So I was already up two pounds. So I had to work the rest of the week to lose that to lose two pounds so really this week I lost three pounds so I had to work all week to lose three pounds to get down two pounds and then lose an extra pound in order to get that 1.4 pounds that I have lost this week so I feel like that's how I've been operating and that's how my body well not me that how my body have been operating uh, for a while on this weight loss journey it's like when I come off of the weekend my weight is up and I'm just like completing or like to going through this cycle of losing one pound, gaining two pounds, losing one pound, gaining two pounds. Over the weekend, I ate four bags of these, right? I ate two on Saturday and two on Sunday. And so these are one ounce bags. So I ate two ounces on Saturday and two ounces on um, Sunday. That's not a lot. So I want to say that's two cups. And and I really truly think and neat and I love these. I felt like if I get the big bag, I can sit there and eat the whole bag. So that's why I got the little bags. Um, but I feel that my body does not digest those well. Like it really does not break them down well. It holds onto them for some in some weird way. And I really do think it's them. I'm not and I'm not sure. I also did eat um, Famous Days this weekend, but as you can see, I had a small 
portion. It wasn't out of control. It wasn't a, a huge uh, meal. It was a, definitely a, a small meal in moderation, which I should be able to eat. That shouldn't cause me to be up two pounds. The things that I'm eating are in moderation. I do work out four to five days a week. Uh, on Tuesday, I had one of my baked snacks. For a snack on Tuesday night, I ate my three meals. And then at night, I had one big snack. And this is a seven um, slash eight snack. And it's 120 calories. I showed you that in my haul. And on Wednesday, I had one of these for a snack. Um, some of the other nights, I had no snack at all. And if I did have two days out of the week, I had um, my peanut butter and uh, apples. Uh, last night on Thursday, uh, yesterday I only had two meals and a snack. So I had my breakfast and then I had my stir fry for lunch because I was going to get my hair done, which I normally don't get out of there till around 7.30 or 8. And I know I didn't want to eat like a meal um, for dinner. And so when I came home, I just ate apples and peanut butter like that snack. I didn't want a huge meal. So uh, the way that my body triggered that 194 on Monday um, was disappointing, um, but we did manage to lose our 1.4 uh, pounds for the week, which is still exciting, but I still was working during um, through the week to get that uh, weight off. So it seems for me that I still have to like work out on the weekends. Like I need to work out on the weekends and still like, you know, very heavily monitor what I eat and like really be on my strict diet like I'm on during the week. And um, to be honest, y'all, I just don't know if I'm, a, if, if that's what I'm going to do. Um, I can't, I'm not going to work out seven days a week. That's a, that's a lot to ask of someone. And I just don't, know if that's something that I, I can handle or my body can handle uh, and some people do do it and it is uh, a lot of discipline that that comes in um, on someone's part and then you just and some and I don't know if I'm if, if I'm willing to do it and we do have to understand that the scale is just one part of measuring where we are when it comes to weight and I do can I can tell where my body is changing, how I'm looking, and I do feel good about myself. Even just the victories of like um, my highest that I 20 minutes was like whoa I could do that on the stairmaster right 20 minutes. Then I reached 30 minutes and I'm like dang that's the highest I ever did. I I can do 30 minutes. Then I went to 40 minutes. Then I went to 45 minutes. Um, those things right there are like health goals. Um, strength, uh, believing in myself, things that I didn't think I can do that I'm mastering. So it's not all about weight and what I'm eating. And those are things too that I want us to keep in mind and giving ourselves grace when we are doing these things and not just being able to measure our health by what the scale says. Of course, we want the scale to go down and we want it to say um, a certain number, but we don't want it to, uh, we don't want to obsess uh, in an unhealthy way about our weight, right? right? And we don't want it to become toxic. I don't want to um, start saying, oh, I can't eat this. I can't do this. I can't go to the party and I can't do this. I have to take this. I didn't work out today. Oh my God. And you know, and be down on myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what I can when I can. I'm going to eat the best that I can. And I'm going to go to the gym as much as I can when I do. Like tomorrow, I'm going to go to the gym. Sunday, I'm going to go. And so I go to Dallas to see my sister. If you watch it, sissy. So I go to Dallas on Thursday to see my sister. And so I do want to work out for the these five the next five days until I go to Dallas. Because y'all already know, we're going to be eating and your girl going to be up a couple pounds. It is what it is. We already know. And so I'm going to try to give y'all a mini vlog on Wednesday and do a weigh-in so we can see what we looking like before I go to Dallas. And then try to give y'all, you know, a normal vlog on that following um, Friday with a weigh-in. So I just want to try to go down the list. We already talked about our weight. We talked about snacks. I'm still drinking my 64 ounces of water. I do 232 um, ounce bottles of water a day. 
you see in my workouts. Uh, again, I wasn't feeling the best this week. I was trying to fight off a cold, but and so I worked out four days this week instead of five, five which is fine. Uh, I am going to work out tomorrow, and like I said, Sunday, so I'm going to work out for the next five days straight. And uh, and that was fine. I just did more time. I did more cardio, and I you know upped my game on the stairmaster, and I was fine with it. And I sweated, sweated, sweated it out in the sauna. So I was good with that, and I felt fine. It's, when you go and work out, do what works for you. You don't have to sit there and lift a ton of weights and do what you see other people doing. And if that's what you want to do. You know, you want to lift a ton of weights and you want to up your game and you start at 25 and you and you step your game up. Do that. That is okay, too. You just have to do what works for you. I'm just encouragement. You do not have to do what I'm doing. I'm encouraging you. You're, you can encourage me. We just encourage encouraging each other and one another to stay consistent, right? And to stay motivated. You know, hey, be the best that we can be. That's what we're encouraging each other to do. You don't have to eat what I eat. You don't have to do what I do. But what we do want to do is just say, hey, you can do it. Whatever you put your mind to do, you can do it. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm, when I'm looking at other people, that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting motivated to be like, you know what? I was tired today, but tomorrow I'm getting up. What I'm feeling on Qsemia. So this week on Tuesday, I started my higher dose of Qsemia. And I can immediately tell the difference in my hunger when it came to the higher dose. I wasn't starving on the lower dose, but I can, t I mean, I still had some cravings and, you know, I mean, I still was hungry, but I still, I can still tell that I, that my hunger was altered. But when I took the higher dose, I can feel that it was altered more. So on Monday, I was on the lower dose and that's when I made the smoothie. But I was kind of like hungry. I had the smoothie around 10.30. And around 11.30, 12, I was hungry. Like I was ready to eat lunch. So it just seemed like it just didn't do much at all. It didn't like fill me up. Um, and so I was ready to uh, eat lunch. And so when I took the higher dosage on Tuesday, I can feel the effects uh, differently. And I was staying a little fuller in between my meals a little longer. I didn't have as much, even though I had a couple snacks in the evening, I still didn't have as much cravings for the snacks as I did the uh, the prior two weeks that I had the lower dosage. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not I'm still not having any uh, side effects. I'm a little bit thirstier on the higher dosage, but if anyone has ever taken um, regular phenamine, you know that you're like a really dry mouth with that. It's not nearly as dry mouth as reg. It's just plain phenamine, but it's just a little dry mouth um, with the higher dosage. So um, no headaches, no nausea. I have not went to the bathroom as much this week so that part has slowed down some uh so i'm going to up my um probiotics i'm going to take them with my lunch and with my dinner i was taking them with my just my lunch so i'm going to take um one with my lunch and my dinner this week and kind of see how that works but other than that no headaches no nausea no real side effects, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. So I want to see, after I come back from Dallas, just being consistent from the time I come from Dallas up into Thanksgiving, right? Um, being consistent and seeing how I feel and what that weight loss look like. The goal is to drop weight consistently. Um you know, up until Thanksgiving. And if that's a pound a week, that's consistent weight loss. So that's the goal. And then to let, I want to be honest about me doing these vlogs. It's whole, it's, it's definitely holding me more accountable. Uh, cause me knowing that I'm gonna come on here and talk to you guys and that I'm a weigh in because even though I want a snack, I might just want it. Not that I have to have it, but I just want it. I'm gonna grab it. And I'm, and you know, I might 
lose 0.5 pounds and my and i'd be like oh i lost something but knowing that i'm gonna share this with y'all and y'all gonna be walk um watching and y'all might be cheering for me right y'all might see my weight loss this week and be like oh man denise you did it like dang good job you know and it's and it's encouraging y'all and i don't want to let y'all down so that made me be like girl Y'all need them little y'all 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 need them little baked lays tonight. Y'all y'all need them little baked lays tonight. Go ahead, drink you some water and go to bed. So if it helps me to do that, so y'all don't even know. I'm the one on here talking. I'm getting up going to the gym. I'm meal prepping. But just knowing that I'ma talk to y'all, it's encouraging me and pushing me to be my best me. So Shout out and kudos to y'all. And again, thank y'all for watching the channel. And I, if it's anything that you guys want to see differently in my vlogs or something that, uh, any questions that you have or that you want to ask that I haven't answered in my vlogs, please drop down in the comments um, below and ask your questions. Um, and I will see you guys next Wednesday and I will talk to you soon. Bye.